Procedure and Requirements to File for F-1 Student Visa to USA Filing for an F-1 Student Visa to the USA involves several steps and specific requirements. Here's a detailed procedure. 1. Get accepted into a SEVP-approved school. You must first apply to and be accepted by a U.S. school that is certified by the Student and Exchange Visitor Program, SEVP. The school will send you a Form I-20, Certificate of Eligibility for Non-Immigrant Student Status, once you are accepted and have provided evidence of sufficient financial support. 2. Pay the SEVIS fee. After receiving the Form I-20, you must pay the SEVIS, Student and Exchange Visitor Information System, I-901 fee. This fee supports the SEVIS system, which tracks and monitors schools and students. You can pay the fee online, and you'll receive a confirmation receipt that you need to keep for your visa interview. 3. Complete the DS-160 form. Fill out the DS-160 online non-immigrant visa application form. This is required for all non-immigrant visas, including the F-1 visa. You'll need to upload a photo that meets the U.S. visa photo requirements. Once completed, Print the DS-160 confirmation page for your records and to bring to your visa interview. 4. Pay the visa application fee. Pay the non-refundable visa application fee, which is generally around $160. The payment process varies depending on the U.S. Embassy or consulate where you are applying so check their specific payment instructions. 5. Schedule and attend a visa interview. Schedule an appointment for a visa interview at the U.S. Embassy or Consulate in your country. Wait times for interview appointments can vary, so it's wise to schedule it as early as possible. Prepare for the interview by gathering required documents, including Valid Passport Form I-20 DS-160 Confirmation Page Visa Application Fee Receipt Sevis I-901 Fee Payment Receipt Recent Passport Size Photos Financial evidence showing you have sufficient funds to cover your tuition and living expenses while in the U.S. Academic records, such as transcripts, diplomas, and standardized test scores, TOEFL, GRE, etc. Evidence of your intent to return to your home country after completing your studies. 6. Attend the visa interview. During the interview, you will be asked questions about your academic background, your reasons for choosing the particular U.S. school, and your plans after completing your studies. Be honest and clear in your responses. The consular officer will determine if you are qualified to receive the F-1 visa. 7. Visa Approval or Denial If your visa is approved, you may be informed at the end of your interview. Your passport will be kept for processing, and the visa will be affixed to it. If denied, the officer will explain why. Common reasons for denial include lack of sufficient financial support, failure to prove intent to return to your home country, or incomplete application materials. 8. Prepare for travel. Once you receive your visa, you can make travel arrangements. 
F-1 visa holders are allowed to enter the U.S. up to 30 days before the start date listed on the Form I-20. Make sure you carry your Form I-20, passport with visa, and any other necessary documents when you travel. 9. Arrival in the U.S. Upon arrival, you will go through U.S. Customs and Border Protection, CBP. The officer will review your documents and may ask you some questions about your studies. If all is in order, you'll be admitted to the U.S. as a student and can begin your studies. 10. Maintain your F-1 status. While in the U.S., you must maintain your F-1 student status by being a full-time student, keeping your address up to date with your school, and following all U.S. laws and regulations.